Yes, to the board again. Uh, I will not repeat too much of anything that's been said or stated earlier, uh, even though I agree with all of, the, all of the comments prior to mine. My concern is a little bit deeper than what has been commented on. It's the request for the FISMAC report itself. FISMAC represents trouble. Nobody invites FISMAC to come in our the books. They will find anything. That's what FISMAC does. And so if, if you invite them, you are, you are inviting them to find something wrong. And so no school district does everything right. They'll find it. And so they found a whole lot of stuff that they considered to be costing the school district. And so what is this report saying? It is recommending that you make some serious cuts that will have a negative, uh, negative impact upon the students and the, and the staff of the Monday Unified School District. So my, so when I first heard that this that this report was being was being ordered, I had a problem. No one invites FISMAC anywhere unless you want them to find something that will compromise your school district. And so what the, so they found a whole lot. And so that is my concern. You know, why was the report ordered? I uh, usually if uh, when someone asks FISMAC to come in, they're usually an outside agency, they've seen or found something illegal that you're doing. But no one from within will ever ask FISMAC to come in and look at this stuff. Because they will find something. They always do. And what did they find? They found trouble for you. And now they want you to make all of these serious cuts and reduction re uh, in staff funding and everything else that's going to, that's going to create a negative impact upon the students and, and the staff for the Mondale School District. So I'm just somewhat flabbergasted as to why it was ordered in the first place. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mims. Um, this item is the report on special education, and I believe um, we have Mr. Gillespie. Yes, yes, I'd like to uh, introduce Dr. Bill Gillespie and Joanne Murphy, who conducted the uh, FICMAP study and uh, flew up tonight to be here to uh, present the report. So thank you for being here. Well, thank you, and uh, good evening, uh, Madam President, members of the board, and staff, community. Uh, Exactly what FICMAT does is, is part of this process tonight. It starts to engage the conversation. It starts to engage a process of how we can do things differently, more efficiently, more cost effectively, and also maintain what we're all about here is education to kids. FICMAT's been around for a long time. It's been around since 1992, and it was commissioned by the state legislature to be proactive. And as you have Many of you here in the room, and of course the board knows, uh, the fiscal crisis management team is a premier external independent agency that does work throughout California. We have done over a thousand school district, county offices, charter schools, community college studies. And we're requested to come in, and given the fact that some people may have an agenda, many people may not, but we leave it and we give it as we see it. Always trying to keep in mind that we're all here for the benefit of educational achievement and how our students are learning. That's why we're here. And you as a board and as an administration are given the task to make the best wise use of taxpayers' money. And we have been in fiscal crisis in California for over five to six years. It has been unbelievable. And we who have been in education and I started my career as a teacher and as a coach and went through the administrative ranks as a superintendent for 12 years. It has been absolutely the most devastating time in education in California the last five years. School districts have had to give decision after decision to try to save the district. And the districts that I haven't, there's five or six of them, who boards and superintendents have not joined together in partnership and made bad decisions have lost their governance structure. 
Oakland Unified being one of them, where FICMAC came in and where the superintendent and the board was dismissed of their duties. The board was still seated, but they had no authority to make decisions because they did not manage the fiscal resources as they needed to in the best interest of education for our children. We do do, we provide a deficit model in all our reports. We understand Mount Diablo has done terrific things for special education. We understand that you were under a consent decree for years, and it was a very troubling time where there was found out of compliance in serving kids. Previous administration and previous boards have looked at FICMAT of coming in over the years to do work. The leadership of this superintendent had one agenda item when I met with him. We are spending an, on, on a, a huge amount. The board has hired me to maintain educational quality and excellence in this district and try to maintain the financial resources. And we developed a scope of study that was here. And we stick to that scope of study. That, that, that scope of study. Out of this, we give you the very best report that we possibly can from an independent external perspective. There's 72 recommendations there about. And the process goes something like this. You have the final document. You need to get, and I've heard this tonight and listened to this tonight, is that the, 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 the folks that are 